Hey guys, welcome to Warriors Woods, the first game to be featured in Mega's Puzzle Party. Uh, this is an NES puzzle game starring Toad, the only game to start Toad as far as um, I'm aware. Uh, there's also an SNES version of this game, but that will be shown off at a in a later episode of this project. Um, for the most part, I'm just going to, you know, play through maybe like two bosses, just, you know, 20 minutes of gameplay, or 20, up to 20 minutes of gameplay of this game. Um, the story of it is basically, uh, you know, Warriors taking over Toad's Woods, and you gotta get it back, so the story's not all that interesting. Um, I mean, pretty basic, but, uh, there's A mode and B mode. B mode has bosses, A mode doesn't. I will be doing B mode. Um, there's also time attack, but I didn't, I'm not gonna show that off. It's just, it's not all that different, I feel. There's also versus, but I can't really show that off because there's no one to play against. Um, so pretty much here's how this game works. You need to uh, clear the you know level of all of the furry animals. Um, pretty much you need a match to color up uh, with bombs. So you either need two bombs and one animal, or you can have one bomb and two animals or two creatures. Um, and the coins, I believe the coins actually decrease the. I'm kind of jump jumping ahead of myself. Um, basically, to move, the, uh, you control Toad, so to uh, move around the playing field, you basically move left and right. Uh, you can pick up a stack of animals, you can pick up the whole stack with um, the two button for the Wii, uh, for the Wii VC version. Or, and I think that translates to B or A on the NES one, I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, and then you can pick up a single uh, single creature with just the one button. So that is um, pretty much what you do to move the creatures around. Also, if you hold the down button and press 2, you can also kick the creatures across the screen. Um, and you can also move Toad up walls. He can climb up stacks of animals and, you know, you know, pick up different uh, amounts of the creatures to move them around to, to match the bombs. You can speed up the um, bombs and uh, falling stuff with the uh, up button, I believe. Up arrow, or no, is it the down arrow? I think it's the down arrow. Um, the up arrow, I believe, if you press it, or if you press both both the one and two buttons, you can um, get on top of the uh, uh, creatures. Um, so yeah, that, that is definitely useful to have, especially if you get trapped underneath them, you can just jump up ahead, uh, above all of them and not have to worry about, um, uh, you know, dying. Because uh, basically, if you if the whole thing fills up and Toad is the only space left, he dies. Uh, diamonds, what diamonds do is they um, are basically act like bombs, but when you clear them, they get rid of all the creatures. So you definitely want to make sure to... Uh, use diamonds. And I'm not sure what triggers a diamond, if it's like, uh, I think a, a row of five is actually what triggers them. Um, five creatures, that is. Uh, and you'll see Birdo's on the right-hand side. What Birdo basically does is when Birdo's on the screen, bombs, um, fly down. And from, I think the fairy, uh, is named Wanda. And then, um, after that meter fills up, Wario will come. I believe the coins is what, uh, eventually if you get so many coins, they slow down the meter a little bit. Um, and the coins also get you more lives, more chances. Uh, basically, if Wario comes, he will, uh, bar um, shoulder barge into the screen and cause the thwomp thing at the top to come down, making the player area smaller. And when he's around, there, uh, Pidget will also drop, uh, more creatures, whereas right now there's just bombs dropping. So this game can actually get kind of tricky, if, especially later on, when you'll get introduced to creatures who only get cleared diagonally, or you have to clear them twice in order to get rid of them. Um, right now, you can, you can clear them either diagonally or just horizontally or whatever. Uh, here's our first boss. Basically, to defeat the boss, you have to clear a row into him, basically. Um, the bosses each have a special ability, too. So, like, this one, I think his ability is to just, like, disappear all of the bombs, which can be annoying. But, um, yeah, I do, I do I, this game is, it's just kind of unique, I guess. It's, you don't see many puzzle games like this. You see, like, a lot of Tetris-type games, you see, like, Puyo Pop, but the fact that you control a uh, character in the puzzle field is kind of unique. So it does make this game, um, definitely worthwhile. I wish the VC, I mean, I have it, but I wish the VC, um... Uh, yeah, Nintendo VC had uh, the 
the SNES version because it it is it's the same, but there's also a lot of differences with the two. And I will, like I said, I'll I'll show that one off in a later episode of this project. Uh, one thing that um kind of off topic, well not off topic, but not talking about the game. Um, one thing to mention about this uh, project is it's actually I, I didn't let's play a Wario Woods a long time ago, and I um yo. Know, wanted to find a way to redo that because I've been redoing a lot of my projects and so um, the only thing I could come up with because the, the problem with doing the puzzle the, the LP of that game in the first place was doing puzzle let's plays doesn't really work the game is just too repetitive to you know showcase a uh, long episode um, like 14 episodes 20 episodes of just the same thing over and over hence why I'm doing this project where I pretty much just you know show off one uh, small segment of playing the puzzle game and then move on to another puzzle game. Um, so yeah, I did a let's play of this and th that is why I came up with this project, uh, was because I wanted to find a way to you know, sh show off puzzle games and show off this game without having to uh, redo it in the same format. Um, so that is, uh, that is why you, this game is basically why I'm doing Puzzle Party and it's also why um, that's also why I decided to start with this game, specifically. Um, but that Let's Play is no longer uh, existent. And he is warning us to back off, or deal with, the Wrath of Wario. Okay, so pretty much more of the same, in terms of just uh, clearing animals and... The game gets really hectic later on, uh... From what I remember, it can be really tricky to uh, get everything. I'm, I'm honestly like I'm decent at puzzle games, but I I'm sure there's people who are better at not just this one, but other ones uh, compared to me. Like even Tetris, I've I've competed against friends with Tetris, and I've uh, people have said uh, you know I I think I'm pretty good, but when it gets down to it, there's people who can get high scores with all their fancy T spins and all that, and I just I can't do that as well. Um, but I'm pretty good at Tetris, and I'm, I'm not bad at this game either. So yeah, as you can see, Wario is now here, and he is causing havoc. Okay, there we go. Yay, more coins! I'm getting a lot of coins, I've been clearing the, um, clearing the field pretty fast. The early, the early stages are obviously really easy. It gets once you once like as you can see, there's like two rows now of this of the creatures starting out. Once you pretty much think near the end, you get like only like a row, buffer row before the thwomp up there. So it's kind of um, game's kind of harsh at that point. Hundred levels in. Bunny's gone. Oh, come on, Wario. I don't want more creatures. Okay, hurry. Get the bomb. No. Ah, why'd I do that? There we go. Yeah, sometimes controlling can be a little bit tricky. This game actually looks pretty good. It's, uh, it's definitely one of the last NES games. I think the other one was Star Tropics 2 Revenge of Zoda. It was, um, like I said, I think the SNES one came out first, but... You know, this game doesn't look bad for an NES game. I mean, obviously it came out late enough that they kind of got a grip on how to... Really, it's pretty impressive. Like, you know, you look at Super Mario Bros. and how um, very simplistic that is, and it's... Super Mario Bros. 3 is the same... on the same system as Super Mario Bros., but it looks miles more advanced in terms of uh, graphics. And there we go. I'm thinking I'll go for two bosses then, because, um, I, mean, I don't know what time that would be, but that, that'd probably be a good amount of, um, time to show off what this game is all about. That's pretty much what the focus of this, the, uh, Puzzle Party project is, is to just, you know, showcase off all the puzzle games I own. Mostly, like, a lot of block, block puzzles. It is, um, kind of odd that you think of, like, puzzle games and really falling block this is kind of a puzzle, but I don't know, it's it's not... When I think puzzle, I think more like, um, 
like, I guess, logic puzzles or something. This game doesn't really require a lot of thinking, I guess. Quick, quick thinking, though, because you had to quickly think what the best place to, uh, to put the, you know, like, for example, this, the bomb and stuff. You know, like, Tetris, where do I put the blocks in the most efficient way, um, efficient manner possible? So there is thinking involved. It's not like you're just, you know, a devoid of thinking while uh, playing the puzzle game. Okay, they, these guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, I've been just kind of focusing on the game while talking, but these guys uh, do take two times to clear. I'm a little, I'm a little bit tired, so I'm sorry if I've been a little, uh, if I'm a little out of it. I don't, I don't remember if we saw these yet. Maybe we have. If we haven't, yeah, okay, here. So you, now you, um, now I have to get a turquoise one. Wow. Tons of blue bombs. There's one. And one, yeah, I got a lot of credits here. Which I'll need if I was to continue onward, because uh, when I did the project originally, I went to all 100. Um, not really worth it. You get a, you get the cool credits music. The music, the credits is pretty good, but the um, isn't like I said, the plot. Don't play this. Don't play this game for the plot. It's too sim. It's pretty boring. It's just Wario continuing to threat to threaten Toad for coming into his uh, the woods that he's now conquered. But uh, you know, going up to 100, it's de it definitely gets tricky. I do apologize for anyone who actually wants to see me play through, you know, like, the whole storyline of any of these games, but, like I said, that was the reason why I didn't, uh, I set up, uh, you know, a project where I show off different puzzle games, is because most people aren't gonna want to, aren't gonna want to see the whole, see just the cutscene of me, like, talking to another character, uh, you know, for a whole Let's Play. Just, just to sit through a bunch of like the same old, same old gameplay. Once you see, once you see one video of the gameplay, you pretty much get a good idea of what the game is about. And then at that point, you want to play it yourself. Um, whereas with like other lots of plays, you know, there's more variety in the game, so you kind of have to see the whole thing. You can't just, just you can't watch like like uh, I'm doing Oracle of Ages, so you can't like watch that in the first video and be like, okay, yep, I I know the entire game now. Puzzle games, though, there's this is pretty much the majority of what the game is. Hence why I will be doing, um, I will be doing, though, different modes, like, uh, I'll be showing off, like, if a game has a, if a puzzle game has, like, various modes that are different enough, each one of those will be a video, because, again, it's like, it's showing off, you know, you have to get a feel of what the mode is. Showing off just the first mode and not the other mode, you're not gonna uh, understand the entire game. But I'm rambling on too much. I know I'm not focusing on Warriors Woods as much, but um, you know, one of the things with the puzzle games is they're kind of self-explanatory once you explain the mechanics of it. Your main goal is to just find ways to stack these guys, and I probably should be using kicking as more, but at the moment it's not really... It, kicking actually becomes more uh, useful when you get more um, creatures stacked up near the beginning. Or near the, near the end of the game, rather, not the beginning. I should be able to finish this one off. There we go. It's kind of odd the character choice that they had for this. They had that, I think, Wanda Fairy, who's also in Mario vs. Wario. The, I think she was in this game. I think she was in this game first. Then you have Birdo, and then Toad. He's pretty good. Okay, there we go. That was actually pretty smart on my pot, or, and now a useless diamond that I can't do anything with. Um, actually, now I can get rid of it right now. Okay, and die. Oh wait, no, I still need to get rid of them again to fully get rid of them. And here is the bomb that will do it. And, oh no, well luckily they gave me a diamond so I can get rid of that creature really quick. Okay, in boss level, actually, uh, this is... I think I remember correctly, this guy's called Daboo. Which is... Uh, they do have... These guys guys do have names. They're just kind of like random villains. Um, what is this guy's power? I'm not... I think he might just make a bunch of things appear, if I remember correctly. We will, we will see. Uh, what 
what his ability is. Yeah, he does make a bunch of enemies appear all a um, bunch, but that's also also a little bit of his. Oh wait, ah! Well, that was dumb. Yeah, if you end up like be appearing where he appears, you will also die. So do not do not do that. Um, but uh, it's also his downfall because by having a bunch of uh, enemies appear, it's easier to make combos to kill him. I guess there, yeah, there is a puzzle element to this, obviously, a thing, or a thinking element. So yeah, I guess the puzzle game is um, a, a correct terminology. Okay, it's two hits, I think. Okay, yeah, bomb. There we go. yet? I mean, I know he takes more hits than the other guy, but... He seems to be taking quite a few hits, actually. Okay, wait, now I can use all bombs, too. Ah, there we go. He is dead. And I think I'm gonna edit off here, then. I'm um, gonna just say two bosses. But this is, uh, this is Warrior's Woods. It's a pretty good puzzle game, and if you have five dollars to spend, I'd recommend getting it off the Wii Virtual Console. It's also available, I believe, in Animal Crossing for the GameCube, if you have that, uh, as one of the NES games in there. But, um, this is the first episode of Puzzle Party. I hope, uh, to see you back for more, um, videos, and you can, now I've unlocked all the rounds, you can, I can jump rounds. But, uh, see you guys for more puzzles.